Hello everyone. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any of our educational videos. And don't forget, if you've ever had an experience driving in winter or have a question about black ice, share it in the comments below. Alright, let's jump into the video. Winter is the season where physics, nature, and humans are all put to the test. Many people think the main danger of winter driving is just snow and ice, but the truth is far more complex. The phenomenon responsible for most accidents is black ice, a thin, invisible layer of ice that even the human eye or regular sensors can't detect. But how does black ice actually form? When the air temperature is above freezing but the road surface is still cold, moisture or overnight fog settles onto the asphalt. As this vapor touches the cold surface, it freezes into a thin, glass-like layer of ice. That's why the road may look dry, but in reality, it's extremely slippery. According to researchers, just one millimeter of black ice can reduce tire traction by up to 80%. Another interesting fact is that car tires behave differently in cold weather. When the temperature drops, the rubber becomes hard and less flexible, meaning it no longer grips the road properly. That's why in northern countries, drivers use winter tires made with softer, silicone-based compounds. Even tire pressure matters, if the pressure is too low, the tire's contact area increases but not enough heat is generated, if it's too high, the contact area decreases and the risk of slipping goes up. The ideal pressure in winter should be about 5% higher than in summer to maintain proper tire performance. Как-то ветра не очень много, а на тихой ужасный ветер, что идти невозможно. Many drivers, when their car starts to skid, instinctively slam on the brakes, but that's actually the worst thing you can do. When the tires lock up, the car slides uncontrollably over the black ice, and you completely lose control. 
The correct response is to gently release the accelerator, steer in the direction of the skid, and allow the car to regain its balance naturally. In cold temperatures, the human brain naturally reacts more slowly. Studies in Canada have shown that at minus 5 degrees Celsius, drivers' reaction times are about 20% slower than normal. That means even if your eyes see the ice, your brain sends the signal too late, and those few milliseconds can make the difference between a safe stop and a chain reaction crash. Countries like Japan and Norway are using advanced technologies to tackle this issue. On some roads, smart thermal sensors are installed that automatically spray de-icing materials when the surface temperature approaches freezing. But in countries without such systems, driver awareness is crucial. The best time to drive in winter is after sunrise, when the ground temperature has risen slightly. Bridges, shaded roads, and areas near lakes are the most likely spots for black ice. If you've stayed with us this far, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and share your experiences in the comments, your story might just save someone's life. Until the next video, stay warm and stay safe.